literally over 200 feet in width of the canopy and they will heal the entire property from the hot sun. That was an important feature back in the early days before fans and air conditioning stayed live during the summer months a yeah. little more bearable. As we look to the left, you'll see the first entrance gates. They were built in 1906 and to this day only permitted to be open for U.S. presidents. First open for President Howard Taft back in 1912 and most recently opened for former President Carter back in 1979. And then most recently, he visited here for New Year's Eve 2007 and he were open for him at that time. Then they were most frequently open for President Harry S. Truman. Today, behind those gates, everyone can visit the Harry S. Truman Little White House Museum. It will be closed in the month of October. They're going to have another summit down here. But in the meantime, it is open. You can still see where some of the strategic decisions during the Cuban Missile Crisis were made by President Kennedy. As we round the corner on the left-hand side, you'll see where the train tours depart from. They leave about every 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a great way to see the island, 90 points of interest, covered in about 90 minutes. Great way to learn about old historic downtown Key West. As we work our way into old Key West, we're going to show you where we dropped you off, the same location where we're going to pick you up when you're ready to return back to your ship. Shuttles leave about every 15, 20 minutes. Last shuttle today will depart at 1.15 for your 2 o'clock sailing time. To make sure you folks can find your way through the downtown area with a minimal amount of trouble, we do have a map for you folks that will help you find your way through the downtown area. For those of you who do some shopping along our main street, the Wall Street, we have some discount coupons on the inside for you. Now, if you do have any questions on what to find, where to find it, 